Here are the pilots who are making the long-distance flight to the Cape. Squadron leader Gayford on the right, and Flight Lieutenant Bett with the map. Squadron leader Gayford and Flight Lieutenant Nicolets land at Cape Town in their ferry monoplane after having achieved a great triumph for Britain and the Royal Air Force. They have recaptured the world's non-stop air record from America by flying 5,340 miles from Cranwell to Waldis Bay. Squadron leader Gayford is seen on the ground while Flight Lieutenant Nicolets is emerging from the plane. <laughs> The non-stop flight lasted for 57 hours, 25 minutes, and reflects great credit on the courage and stamina of these two air heroes. The John Ferry monoplane in which squadron leader Gayford and flight lieutenant Nicolets captured the long-distance non-stop air record is here seen bearing the two British heroes safely home again. They flew 5,309 miles in 57 hours, 25 minutes, and a warm and official welcome awaits them at Farnborough. Gayford is just out of the plane, and his immediate thought is to embrace his mother, who must be proud of her gallant son. Lord Londonderry, as our minister, greets the flowers, and in this group you see from left to right, Nicolets, Lord Londonderry, Gayford, and our marshal Sir John Salmon. Gayford then modestly replies to the welcome. Flight Lieutenant Nicolets and I are very pleased to be back in England again, after our absence of three months. We're very, very grateful for the welcome that we've received here. There are many other people who had a very large share in the flight, who I feel should be here sharing in this welcome. The builders of the aeroplane and the engine, and all the other people at the Air Ministry. Oh,